Okay, so you've all seen the baguette is our primary camera boat and uh, it's here for some upgrades. So as you've seen in some other videos, the camera is mounted here on the top and it's rotated by a servo motor here that we can control remotely. And uh, so we can not only move sideways the camera and uh, yeah, there are some problems of course with have popped up over the time. For example, yeah, it's, it's very long, so it's not so easy to carry around, especially because we're always also carrying another boat to take pictures of. And it's, it's quite uh, narrow, so it tends to rock in this direction in the, in the waves. And what that means is that every time the, it's hard to point the camera at something, because especially if it's sideways, it's gonna go pointing at the water and then at the sky and you will not get good pictures and even when it's pointing up front you can get uh, seasick by watching the the videos that come out of this and yeah we try to cope with that by installing this uh, moving counterweight connected to an accelerometer that is able to tell whether the boat is vertical and this helps a bit uh, to compensate the uh, yeah the misbalance in weight but uh, not really the waves because it, it moves uh, too slowly to counter the waves effectively and even if it did it would probably drain the battery so yeah it's it's more of a problem of, of the shape of the boat really and the other thing is uh, yeah I wanted to upgrade this uh, gimbal to something that can move also vertically the camera up and down so to be completely able uh, to point it anywhere however if I mount something like that on top of this it's going to increase even more the weight on top of this boat making it uh, rock even more and uh, have even more problems with the balancing of the sideways motion so what I came up with is a design for a completely new boat which you can see here the modeling file and it's it's quite large it's uh, but it's shorter and wider which hopefully will make it uh, more stable on top of that uh, it has this uh, kind of uh, weird shape so elongated at the bottom because I'm placing the motor and hopefully some uh, ballast down here as well as the battery will be also placed uh, uh, very low compared to the um, the height of the boat itself and I hope this will give it uh, some extra stability through the sideways motion uh, and top of that it will also be more compact so the um, gimbal will sit on top here so I have it actually the 3D model, I made it separately. It has two motors, one here and one here, and they act independently to adjust the yaw and the pitch of these uh, um, yeah, GoPro that are roughly modeled here. Uh, of course, this is uh, way too large to be printed with my 3D printer in one go. So instead, I can show you I am printing it in, uh, I split it up in different parts, all roughly the maximum size that I can print.
and the boat is finished as you can see I installed the new 3d printed uh, propeller Whoa. now with four blades and uh, printed uh, in a better way we've already installed uh, the holder the gimbal for the camera as you can see inside we have a motor controlled controller and two controllers for the uh, small motors that move the the camera receiver then the engine is down there and here we have uh, some space for the battery so we're gonna power it up and uh, give it a try Hmm. It appears this is uh, what failed, since it, uh, yeah, I put a little bit of uh, tape to make the mast, uh, the axle a bit thicker to better fit in here, and it completely <laughs> evaporated, I guess. So, yeah, I think I just. Uh, print this part again with the correct diameter it's it's as you can see now it's in black plastic and it the, the fit is much tighter I also uh, tidied up these cables so it's a bit easier to to get into it and uh, yeah it's, it's ready for another try Hai fritto qualcosa? Had, uh, another small problem and that the um, motor was not uh, powering the propeller anymore and this is what I found when taking it apart basically even though I had this tied down the the shaft was trying to, to uh, transmit too much energy and the the inside of this uh, piece of plastic just uh, melted away a bit so that now it has a perfect uh, diameter but it doesn't transmit any force anymore I think this is really a limitation of the material so I ordered uh, basically like a similar piece but out of brass and this should go on here and on this side it can be screwed directly to the propeller shaft Yes, so it also just occurred to me that uh, this needs to be perfectly aligned and it's obviously not, so I let the screws of the motor loose, but yeah, I don't know how good is that, you see now. The motor is moving as I rotate the axle, that's not good. <laughs> but uh, yeah, let's, let's give it a try anyways. Fingers crossed.
Not very good. Quick update. I attached a new plastic part to the brass adapter. As you can see, this one uh, can connect to the one I already had in place. And with this uh, kind of connection, I can compensate for any misalignment of the motor compared to the axle of the propeller. I also covered the receiver with this plastic bag. I added a plastic bag to this other electronics. So hopefully last time uh, a bit of water went into it and then they stopped working uh, just because of a few droplets. But this time I hope that uh, this will m waterproof them. For today, this is uh, everything. The new camera boat is now fully operational and it was uh, a relative success. I think it's not finished yet. I want to improve on this uh, cover and improve the um, reliability against waves and everything else since uh, some water can still get easily in the boat. But apart from that, I'm quite happy with it. And I think uh, from now on, uh, this will be our uh, service boat and uh, we will temporarily retire the baguette so everyone cheer for the baguette which retires yay